You end up needing a lot of materials in Genshin Impact for ascending characters, weapons, and leveling up talents. I wanted to share some easy to remember farming routes I've been using and these are just for basic daily clears just to slowly keep up your inventory stocked. Today we'll be going over the 4 materials dropped by Hilly Churls, Mask, Arrowhead, Scrolls, and Horns. The damage, stained, and ominous mask drop from any type of Hilly Churl I believe so our farming paths are focused on Hilly Churl destruction today. These are used for ascending and leveling talents for Chong Yun, Jean, Noel, Xing Cho, Razor, and the main characters. If you need firm, sharp, or weathered arrowheads, then these come from the ranged Haley Trolls, which I believe are the ones with the crossbows. These are used by Amber, Fischl, and in the future, Zhao whenever he gets released. For the divining, sealed, and forbidding curse scrolls, these come from Samatrolls, which are basically those small elemental Haley Troll mage dudes. You need these for Klee, Chi Chi, and Barbara. Last are the heavy, black bronze, and black crystal horns. These come from large Haley Trolls, which are the big Mitotrol guys with the axes or the shields. They currently aren't used for any other characters, but you need them for some weapons like the 4 star stringless bow or the battle pass bow. At the end, I will showcase two spots with a lot of mitre trolls if you just need horns specifically. If you just want to see a diagram of the farming paths, I will showcase the three of them I have right now. If you want to see a sped up run through of each path, then stick around for a bit because having a visual aid is probably more helpful. So the first farming path I have is a very basic clear of the Gunyan Stone Forest. The blue dot is where you will spawn in and you simply just clear all the enemies to the right side. The second dot has a couple mob camps to clear and after the third camp you will want to head north to the little island right above. This route has 17 hilly trails, 6 ranged hilly trails, 4 salmon trails, and 4 large hilly trails. There is a bonus abyss mage as well. For path number 2, this is in the north part of the leeway and the ruins area. It's to the west of the Wuwang Hill and Stone Gate Tex on the map. From the spawn on the cliffside, we head north first to jump down the hole because there are a couple of basic hilly trails down there. After that, you exit the cave and head south, then you head east where the bridge is located. From there, you want to double back and clear the entire coastline going west. This route has 19 hilly trails, 13 ranged hilly trails, 1 salmon trail, and 3 large hilly trails. This last farming path is mainly for ranged hilly trails and salmon trails, but this one is a bit complicated at first. It's located at Storm Terror's Lair, and we're going to spawn in at the Statue of the Seven, not at the very top. From there we head north, then we make a counterclockwise loop around the inner part of the lair. For some extra kills, once we reach the right side of the inner circle, you can break off and head north slash northeast. With this path, you can find 10 hilly trails, 24 ranged hilly trails, 9 salmon trails, and 3 big guys. There are of course a lot more hilly trail mobs in the lair, so feel free to be more thorough in your farming routes. Now I'm going to showcase a quick run through of each farming path. You can check the description for timestamps. I won't be talking while the footage plays out, but I did want to say that I do have more farming paths for other materials. If you want to see them, you can check the description and I will update it with links to those videos when they come out. Last thing, I will be back at the very end to showcase two specific spots for farming large hilly trails if you really need horns. Alright, enjoy the footage and I'll be back in a bit.
Okay, so I hope those farming spots are easy enough to remember. I know the Storm Terror one is a bit wonky, but if you need arrowheads or scrolls, that is the place to go. Now let's talk about horns that come from the big mitre trails. This first area I found is near the left portion of Leeway with all the mountain ranges. The spawn location is on an unnamed area directly under the two spawns that are really high up in the sky. To the northwest of this spawn there is a very odd camp with four mitre trails. One of them is secluded above the camp and the other three are down below. Next spot requires a bit of a hike. Go back to the spawn next to the ruins west of the Stone Gate and Wuwang Hill areas. From here, we want to head north along the set path, and at the very top area where I'm aiming with Fischl is three Mita Trails. Make your way along the road heading up to the mountain, and then climb up a small cliff. Don't get knocked off the sides because it's a long way down. Hopefully these spots can help you out, and do keep in mind that some of these mobs and items drop multiple amounts when you kill them. For example, salmon trails may be less abundant, but they can drop two of the lower tier scroll items, and at the upper wood levels, mobs can definitely drop multiple items of different rarity. The rarer mobs are also almost going to drop their items, while things like the common mass will require a bit more killing. I do have some more routes for the other leveling materials in the game, but they will be a bit simpler than this batch. I will up the description with all the material farming videos I put out when they are finished. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.